everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jossie Lynn J. I'm really excited about this video because I've been experimenting with desk setup videos and they've done pretty well. You all really enjoyed the two dual monitor desk setup videos that I've done. Um, I also did like a minimal desk setup back in 2019. I think that was like the first video where I started experimenting with like apartment like setups. And since all of us pretty much are quarantined, desk setups are more important than ever. I know a lot of students are gonna be studying and working from home. A lot of professionals are working from home like myself, at least for the foreseeable future. So having a nice, inspiring, motivating setup that's also ergonomically friendly can make a huge difference. Before we start this video, I wanna give a special shout out to the sponsor of this video, Trend Micro. I made sure that for this setup, it isn't too expensive. Um, previous setups have been a lot more expensive than this one. For one, I have one monitor. It's really nice. It's made by LG. It's called the LG UL 500 27 inch. It's part of their ultra fine series 4K. I will say for a 27 inch monitor, you can definitely find cheaper options, but this monitor is great, especially for those of you who are gonna be multitasking, researching. It's still large enough for you to be able to have one window open for research, another window open with like Microsoft Word or Google Doc where you're typing up a paper, or if you're someone like myself who was a computer science major and you have one window open up of like Stack Overflow or your, or your computer science assignment and another window with the IDE you're programming in or your terminal. And then I'm not gonna forget about you creative majors, photography, videographers, and you really need all the screen real estate, 100% of that screen real estate for you know Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, Lightroom, and Photoshop. As a college student, you would like to think that you'll be as productive as possible, studying as much as you can, but the reality is you spend a lot of time consuming media and playing video games. Well, at least I did. Which makes this monitor a great option because of the 4K resolution at 3840 by 2160 and the Radeon FreeSync allowing you to match the rate at which your GPU produces. Also, college dorms and apartments don't have the most space, so this monitor will save you some desk real estate because of its sleek stand and display. If you are a creative or major in something that requires you to design or edit assets, the LG UL 527 inch has true to life color, keeping the colors consistent. Before we continue this video talking about this student desk setup, let's hear a word from our sponsor, Trend Micro, and how Cleaner One Pro can help you clean optimize and speed up your computer. Cleaner One Pro is an all-in-one cleaning disk manager. With Cleaner One Pro, you can free up storage space in just one click, along with removing unnecessary files in seconds, and keep your Mac or PC in order by managing your apps. One of my favorite features that Cleaner One Pro offers is the identification and removal of similar photos, hence duplicates. I reuse so many assets for my YouTube videos. I'm sure I have a lot of images duplicated and over time that can take up a lot of space. One thing I really appreciate about Cleaner One Pro is the ease of use and simple UI that is very easy to navigate and each screen tells you exactly what you need to do to clean and optimize your computer. For those of you who have Macs, Cleaner One Pro optimizes your Mac OS through the toolbar feature. This feature allows you to monitor your CPU usage, network usage, and memory usage at a glance. The cleaning feature is probably the one I'll be using the most because it removes temporary files and hidden leftover files that have added up from all of the dependencies I've been importing. Also, I find myself losing storage at a more rapid pace than I like to, and that's because of the large video files I've exported locally for my YouTube videos. The cleaning feature can filter and manage large files on your disk to free up more storage and space. You can also scan and delete junk files in just one click. I think we don't really think about virtually cleaning our computers because the clutter isn't physically taking up any space, but it's important to take the time to clean your computer 
to optimize and enhance the overall experience. Once again, thank you to Trend Micro for sponsoring this video. Fam, having a nice set of speakers can make a big difference when it comes to learning and consuming content. Thank you to Logitech for sending me these Logi Z207 speakers. They look even better in person and the sound quality is exceptional, providing a rich stereo sound that really fills the room. You can a dedicated iPhone 12 event likely sometime in October, it all eventually. But what I do have here for you is a first look at Apple. Easily pair them to multiple devices and I really like the easy controls, making it simple to turn them on and off and connect them to Bluetooth. For Bluetooth speakers under $50, these are a steal, trust me. Funny thing is, I didn't even really plan too far in advance for this video. What happened is I had two Linmon countertops. Basically, I was going to replace the countertop that my wife was using with another newer or brand new Linmon countertop. And then I was like, wait a second, we've got two Alex drawers, we got four Aldis legs. I have a countertop that I'm not using for this desk setup. I was like, I can create a really nice, minimal and affordable student desk setup. It's nice to be able to take what you have and to create it into your own thing. I had like these fake plants that I bought from Ikea that are actually going to be on top of the shelving unit that I plan on installing soon for a video that I'm going to be releasing in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. It's actually cool to unassemble um, the desk that we were using and to assemble a new desk setup. In terms of the mouse and keyboard, I decided to go with the Logitech M185 and Logitech K380 keyboard because of their Bluetooth connection, compatibility, and small form factor. Spending hours while writing a paper, entering in lab results, or programming can take a lot of time, and typing, so I wanted to make sure that the mouse and keyboard that I chose wouldn't take up much space in a backpack or be a hassle to keep up with while you're on the go. The typing experience is great. The keys on the K380 keyboard actually feel really good on the tips of my fingers, and that's probably because of their circular shape. The M185 mouse is responsive and it fits in my palm pretty well, although it's a bit smaller than I like for my hand size, but will probably fit great for the average size hand or smaller hands. For the countertop, I went with my go-to, which is the Ikea Linmon 47 inch countertop. This size is perfect for a small dorm. And looking back at it, I wish I would have decided to decline the desk that they offered me in college and replace it with my own setup. I will say if you have enough space, get a larger countertop because it can make a big difference allowing you to multitask more effectively, reduce clutter, and it feels less cramped. I decided to place the countertop on top of one Alex drawer and two Aldis legs. The reason being is because for one, I'm way too big to fit my legs between two Alex drawers and a 47 inch desk. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend anyone to go with two Alex drawers for a desk that's shorter than 55 to 60 inches. Regardless, I really like the contrast of having these two legs and a drawer and it takes up less space. Also, in terms of the fake plants on the desk, you can never go wrong with real or fake plants on your desk. Adding some greenery to such a simple setup can really add a pop of color and improve the state of mind. So that concludes this video. If you're still here, give this video a thumbs up. I will greatly appreciate it. And it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below your thoughts and your desk setup or any other desk setup videos that you would like to see me create. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate that. And I'd love for you all to become a part of the fam. And with all that being said, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.